a proton deuteron and alpha particle enter a region of constant magnetic field magnetic field is equal to constant for all the particle for all the particle and it enters perpendicularly it means the particle is with velocity and perpendicular to the magnet to c it means the particle will undergo in circular path if it is undergoing in circular path the centripetal force mv square by r where mass of the particle velocity of the particle radius of the orbital is equal to magnetic force b sin 90 that is the magnetic field is equal to qvb into sin 90 because the angle between v and b is equal to 90 which is equal to 1 r r is equal to mv by qb so you can write a radius of the orbit is equal to radius of the orbital is equal to m v divided by qb m v divided by q b and since mass into velocity mass into velocity is equal to momentum into q into b and we can write p by q into b where p is equal to momentum of particle momentum of particle as it is you know if a body if a charge q is accelerated through a potential of v then kinetic energy is equal to half m v square also kinetic energy is equal to charge into potential difference charge into potential difference charge into potential difference so this half m v square can be written as half into m square by m into v square is equal to half into m square into v square is equal to momentum square divided by m so you can write kinetic energy is equal to p square by 2m or if kinetic energy is equal to p square kinetic energy is equal to momentum square divided by 2m and also if this is equal to 2m then what about the radius the radius radius is equal to momentum divided by charge into magnetic field so momentum so what is the p square here p is equal to under root 2m k from this expression expression or we can write under root momentum is equal to 2m into k where k is equal to kinetic energy kinetic energy of the particle kinetic energy of the particle so we can see k therefore r also r also we can write r is also equal to where kinetic energy is equal to p square by 2m is equal to q into v and r also where p what is the value of p p is equal to under root 2mk under root 2m k 2m k divided by q into b so we can kinetic energy this one also is equal to half mass of the particle into its velocity these are the things we have found out now now let us get into the problem the problem says first condition alpha particle see here mass is involved and charge is involved this is for mass and charge 
mass in charge mass for whom charge for whom first let us take for a proton proton for proton proton mass if mass is m and charge is e and next is a deuteron for deuteron mass is equal to twice the mass of proton this mass is equal to deuteron mass is equal to twice the mass of proton and charge is equal to same and next is alpha particle for alpha particle for alpha particle the mass is the for alpha particle the mass is double of four times the mass of the proton and two times charge is two times of the electron so first condition is given first condition is given find the ratio of proton neutron alpha if they are with the same speed first let us consider the speed same speed if they enter with the same speed the velocity is same see what is the radius 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 of first we will say proton is to radius of deuteron is to radius of alpha particle is equal to is equal to radius of proton is equal to mass mass of proton is mass of proton into velocity of pro proton speed is same and charge charge is e for proton charge is e and the magnetic field obviously same for all because it is magnetic field is given constant here for all the particle s2 for deuteron deuteron mass is equal to 2m and velocity is same deuteron charge is c and b s2 and for alpha particle mass mass is equal to mass is equal to 4m into velocity c and divided by divided by charge charge is equal to 2e and magnetic field is same so we can cancel the common term e b e b e b so this is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 2 for first question for same speed speed the or for the deuteron is equal deuteron is one time one unit one time see this is for this is for deuteron the radius of deuteron is equal to twice the radius of proton and a radius of alpha particle is equal to radius of alpha particle which is also radius of alpha particle is equal to twice one is to two is to two if this is one portion this will be twice the radius of proton it means what the radius of deuteron is bigger than bigger than the radius of proton radius of alpha also and both are same for second case second case that is case number 2 second case a linear momentum is constant linear momentum is equal to constant that is r is equal to p divided by q charge into magnetic field these both are constant because here linear momentum is constant and momentum of the particle also constant it means we need not to worry about this therefore r r of proton is to r of neutron is to r of alpha particle is equal to this is this way same is to magnetic field and both are same for p divided by b where b is the magnetic field is the linear momentum both are constant but only thing the ch charge is changing what is charge for the proton charge for the proton is e here also e and here is 2e so this is equal to this 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 cancel this 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 cancel 1 is to 1 is to this 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 we cancel common half 
so therefore r of p is to r of d is to r of alpha is in this ratio in this second given second condition for third condition the kinetic energy is constant the ratio if the with the same speed first condition second condition same linear momentum same kinetic energy if it is centering with the same kinetic energy so now here the radius radius in this case under root 2 into mass into kinetic energy divided by charge into b out of which this is constant so r1 r of proton is to r of deuteron is to r of alpha is equal to so under root 2 is common under root mass mass is equal to m for proton mass is equal to m kinetic energy also same for both charge is e and magnetic field is constant s2 under root 2 into mass of deuteron is equal to 2m 2m and since kinetic energy is constant divided by charge is also same into b and for alpha particle 2 under root 2 into mass mass is equal to 4m into kinetic energy is constant and divided by charge charge is equal to 2e into magnetic field is same so if we cancel out r of proton is to r of deuteron is to r of alpha particle is equal to we can cancel out these two these two and these two and m m m we can cancel out k k we can cancel out eb 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 so this will come so to be everything is get cancel this is equal to 1 left out is 1 is to root to s to here everything is equal to 4 by 2 4 by 2 4 by this is 4 q is here 2 into mass mass is 4m and charge is equal to 4m so see this left out is 4 under root 4 and divided by 2 is equal to 2 divided by 2 2 is equal to 1 so 1 is to root is to 1 because this when the 4 comes out it will become 2 and this 2 gets cancel therefore for the third case when the kinetic energy is same this is the condition for kinetic energy is equal to constant for ratio of proton is to ratio of deuteron is to ratio of alpha for this first case what we have seen it is in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to the ratio 1 is to sorry 2 is to 2 when speed is constant equal to constant then same thing when whichever is constant third thing linear momentum is constant when linear momentum is constant this is 1 is to root is to 1 1 is to 1 is to half that is 1 is to 1 is to half when linear momentum is constant a charged particle is accelerated through a potential difference v potential difference difference is v capital v and acquire a speed speed is equal to v moves in a magnetic field perpendicularly see it is moving in the magnetic field perpendicularly see this is the magnetic field and it magnetic field into the plane and it moves like this so the angle between magnetic field and velocity both are perpendicular it means it will describe a circular path whatever may be the direction we will find it later find the radius of the particle describing the circular path as it is we know the radius of the circular path radius of the circular path we have said 
mass of the particle into its velocity divided by its charge into b this is the mass of the particle now when it is moving a particle is moving charge is moving and accelerated through a potential difference its kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to q into capital v charge into potential a difference so now we want to find out which is kinetic energy also can be written as half m v square we have to find out its radius for radius the delta is given or we can write r is equal to m by q into v divided by b we can write like this from this this is q q by v is equal to half m v square or q by m q by m is equal to v square velocity square by 2 into potential difference v square into potential difference we can write 2v or m by q m by q is equal to 2 into potential difference divided by velocity square therefore the radius is equal to m by q 2 into potential difference divided by v square into v by b this and this we can cancel is equal to 2 2 into potential difference divided by b into v this is the expression for the radius in terms of potential difference speed magnetic field